this video is for class 8 students on chapter spreadsheets and charts so first of all in this video we are going to cover the relative absolute and mixed referencing so first of all we are going to see the relative referencing so so relative referencing means a relative means that change so if we set a particular formula in a particular set of row then the the formula gets updated every time when we drag and select or use the auto autofill feature to uh, to use the formula repetitively okay so first of all we are going to see the how to implement or use the relative so first of all we are going to do so uh, you can see here in this uh, mark sheet in this mark sheet workbook that there are the fo following columns roles names english Ma bengali maths and total so on the following columns we have already entered the value the one uh, roll number one ankon Ankon 80 80 for english uh, 83 for bengali and 95 for maths so we have to find the total so how do you find the total that we can do like this like uh, clicking on the cell then plus and then again clicking then plus and then again clicking on the match then press enter so we can also do that but the thing is that now c3 plus d3 plus e3 so c3 cell has c3 means what c for column and 3 for row so c3 holds the value 80 d3 holds the value 83 and e3 holds the value of 95 now if you drag and drop you can see that it's getting added up okay now now check, check now check it out for the f4 cell that is the f is the column and 4 is the row now it is getting updated okay due to difference of marks now you are seeing that the now the the first the first uh, cell that is the c3 cell c3 cell stands for 80 now when you select on the next one you see that it is changed to c4 so that this means relative relative means that is changing now the next one is absolute absolute means that the the particular cell or a column does not change so how to implement c3 we use equals then followed by a dollar sign then name of the cell so first cell is c3 so dollar c then provide dollar again and c3 so english is selected then similarly we'll do for bengali and maths so dollar again check out that d is the column and 4 is the row so d dollar 4 again d dollar uh, 3 plus dollar dollar e dollar 3 press enter and you will see now now if you drag and drop this again you will see the value is not changing because the absolute means is fixed the cell has become fixed now then in the next slide we are going to see that how to use both the features of absolute and relative referencing so you already you have already studied in your uh, mathematics that how to find the circumference of a circle and area so the formula for circumference of cycle is 2 pi r so r stands for radius so so because the pi value is constant we will apply a constant so the formula is 2 multiply here the multiply sign is is, represent, is represented by the asterisk then dollar then b is the cell sorry b is the column and mention the row so 8 is a row then multiply and then click on radius now why do we click we, why do why we directly click on the cell because the cell has to be relative so if you press enter you will see the value has, values has come out now if you drag and drop it drag and drop it you will see the radius is changing but the absolute value of pi is not changing just look at here if you just compare dollar uh, b dollar 8 so it is fixed so for if if you check the every cell you will see that the, the just the 
radius that the radius field is changing so it has come from 8 to 812 but the pi value has kept same similarly we'll do again for that equal to now the area of uh, area of, uh, of circle is pi r square so again let us absolute the value of pi so b dollar b dollar 8 multiplied by radius times radius press enter and then uh, click on the cell pointer and drag and drop okay this is how we do it a uh, cell reference and everything